All right, folks. I have had to put old stream on pause. I'm out touring around on a new map. This old farmer here, I guess, is going to grind on the pole a while. Just let that sink in. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, yeah. A minute too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to Maypole. Um, I'm fixing to do hardcore farming on Maypole. I think it can be done. I've uh, traveled around today. This is the, see up there, August first day of the map. We're running at 15x. I'm gonna try a whole new recording style. Me being new to all this stuff, I'm just experimenting seeing what sticks I like playing hardcore I know it doesn't draw many eyes but that's okay right now I got a 15 year YouTube plan people I do this for leisure and a hobby I'm not trying to make a dime nor a dollar so I don't need this to pay my bills or even to help with my bills so my 15 year plan is this will be a nice thing for me to do when I retire. Oh, there's our produce market. Cool. Thinking there's a farm down here. If I remember right, I saw it on the map. I've checked all all the farms to the north. The one to the in sort of I guess center of the map. If this ain't it, this is the edge of the map. Okay. I've made it down here toward the bottom edge of the map. I haven't seen a farm. This is not it, is it? Uh, no. This is a cell point. What exactly have we got here? All, all four. I can't read that. Oh my god, I'm scuffing up my pickup. I'm trying to read the signs. Uh, uh, uh. Let me get my pocket drawn out. Let me see what this says. Okay, well, guess what? That does me no good. I, I don't know what that means. So I'll have to check it on the map later. Well, I swear to... But Jesus, there, ain't there a farm down here? See, I was I was way up here. I checked this, this farm up way up to north. And uh, let's see, zoom out. Yeah, I, I started way up here. Check this farm out. I checked this farm out. This is arable, arable, uh, uh, <clears throat> arable only farm. There's no animal pens at this small farm. Uh, it does have its own sleep trigger. There's a little house that links to it right here. Um, then I came down. I checked this farm out. Uh, I think it was pigs and cows here. If I remember right. I think so. You know how I am. I'm, I'm, I'm getting up there in years. Memory ain't what it used to be, but there's a couple of animal pens here, bunch of sheds. Um, all of the farms I have visited so far have had a silo there, so that's good. This one here, it took me forever to find the entrance, but I made it back here. It also, oh, excuse me, this one does have a sleep trigger. All of them have a sleep trigger. This one here has a house trailer, which is interesting, you know. Me being a redneck country bumpkin from down south over here in the States, we see plenty of house trailers flying around during tornado season, so not moving there. Um, I came down here, let's see. Then I had to come way over here, hit this road. I looked for a, a farm road to cut through, but I didn't find one. Came in here, I checked this farm out. This was an interesting one right here. I 
it's got cows, it's got sheep, it had, let's see, it is this one I'm thinking of, right? E yeah, oh, I see what it did, it wasn't this far south, it was up there back in the curve, yeah, that's the farm I'm, I missed. Okay, this one down here has um, cattle here. Sheep here. It's misleading. <clears throat> this barn is not turned this way. It's turned this way. And bucks up to this field. And it's horses. And then I believe this little spot right here. Yeah, this little spot right there is chickens. So it has cows, sheep, horses, and chickens at this farm. It also has a sleep trigger. The house is located right here. Not this little square here. The house is right next to it. This is a, um, a fence den with a stone wall fence. Very nice looking place. I, I, it'd be nice if that was the house, but okay. It is what it is. Um, it has taken me a while to get to this map out of out of respect for the map maker, not down in the map. I love the map. And also out of respect for a, another YouTuber. Uh, matter of fact, the only one I found that was doing a playthrough or is doing a playthrough on this. Not going to name any names. He knows who he is. I have contacted him. Um, his play style, my play style varies a little differently. Uh, he's running the map slightly differently than what I'm going to be doing. I don't think there's going to be any conflict there. Um, so, you, you know, yeah. I, uh, out of respect for the map maker, I said that first. So let's go ahead and kick it off in episode one. Get it out of the way, right? It needs an update. Nothing major. It, nothing I have found major. I... I have sat here and I have squirreled away the last couple of weeks on this map looking for everything I could break on it because that's what I do. Before I'm going to record on a map, I don't want to get started and go, oh crap, it's broken. And nobody checked, nobody reported anything, nobody said nothing to nobody. And here I am out in left field trying to start a YouTube channel and I'm stuck. Okay, well, I don't want to be stuck. And there's nothing that's so broken on, or, like I said, there's nothing so broken on the map it can't be played. The map works. All the cell points seem to take everything that I could take to them. It took it. Um, the only things I have found, and I, I know it works right on PC. So like I said, the other YouTuber. That's doing this map. I've watched his series. His works fine. Console for some reason. It's not working. And. I'm not at a farm. So I can't show you. Well I guess I may be able to travel. Hold on just a second. Yeah, let's see if it'll let me visit here. No it won't let me visit there. It'll let me tag it but not visit. Anyway. It has to do with the exactly how the manure heaps are placed. And for some reason, I haven't tried out any of the pig styes on here. So all I can verify and confirm for consolers is it is the cattle. Because I've been tinkering around up here on the beginner farm. The new farmer farm starts you right here. I've, I've tinkered around on it. What I have found is the manure heap for these barns. He has placed them, in my eyes, perfectly where they need to be placed. The problem is, I believe, with giant triggers. I believe those are vanilla manure extensions. And they're the vanilla barns where the file has been modded just slightly. To account for the extra cattle that you get in them. Probably account for the extra manure that the, the heap has to hold. But the triggers being vanilla. Y'all know giants. 
if you get things too close together, they don't work properly. He's got it placed perfectly. And for some reason on consoles, the console doesn't get it. At least for PlayStation. I haven't went in there, to be fair. To be fair. I have not tried it out on my Xbox to see if it's the same thing. On PlayStation, the manure heaps will not collect manure for the cattle. May do it for the pig. Don't know. Ain't tried it. And, and we're talking micros. I mean, you can take a look at the very back of the manure heap and you can see the the wall from the cattle shed where the robot is. Okay, just barely eats through the very back of the manure heap. And I, I believe that's what's causing the conflict. But what do I know? I'm a console player. I, I don't make this stuff. I, I haven't tried it on any other map to see if I could duplicate it like on, like on Elm Creek or anything. That's going to be one of my next things I do. I'm going to go and try to duplicate the problem and go, aha, this is it. Um, but yeah, other than those manure heaps, I have only found one oopsie daisy on the map. The one oopsie daisy I found was down here and it was like, um, it was like, okay, we're done. It, everything's great. And like I said, when I showed y'all this, farm while ago i said it's sort of confusing looking at the overhead map but when you get there that this barn back here is turned the other way okay well when you get here the barn being turned the wrong way on this map doesn't mean anything that's not the oopsie daisy the oopsie daisy is where the gate is to go into the field the gate shows up on the console edition on the edge side of the map of the barn. The barn is sort of off away from the edge. The side that's closest to the edge of the map is where the gate is. But there's not an opening in the shrubbery for the gate to be there. The gate is just right there on the shrub line. On the other side, you have a big gap in the shrubs where the gate was supposed to be. But, no gate there. That's the only oops Daisy I found, and that's not game-breaking. I, I mean, it's just not. It really isn't. We've got construction tools. We can put our own gates there. That's, that's not a breakable thing. But those are the only two things I, I have found on here that could have used an update. Um, as of this morning, i seen that Cavalier Roy is on to a new map that he's trying to get ready. And if he's doing that, I assume that he's not really looking at updating this. He Okay. I'm sorry. I got a woman talking in my ear. That was weird. My whole headset cut out for no reason. Um so evidently that was just an oopsie daisy, an honest mistake. You know, no big deal. Like I said, uh the manure heaps, I have found a workaround. So I don't have to have an update to run the map. I was just, you know, just for aesthetics, it'd have been nice. But I done found a workaround. So with all respects to Cavalier Roy, don't worry about an update, dude. You did a great job. Just like I said, I waited out of respect. I'm like, well, if he updates it in a couple of weeks, I don't want to be in the middle of a series because... What if it requires a new save? I don't know what requires it and what doesn't. You, you know how it is to be in the dark. But anyway, guys, we're going to call this episode one. Didn't a lot happen. Just a bunch of me running my hole and uh, letting y'all know what's going. But as you can tell, we're running on 15 eggs. We're going to run it this way. We're going to record it this way because... I'm not much for editing. I, I, it's not that I might not be good at it. I have limited time. My weekends is all I have to play. I don't have time during the weeks most of the time. I have three day weekends. And I would rather be playing the game than to play it three hours and then spend another six cutting clips and trimming down and doing a bunch of editing so in order to lessen my workload on the editing 
arch. We're going to run at 15x. We're going to record it straight up. And every episode is probably going to be about anywhere from 30 to, say, 45 minutes of pure game footage. I will do light editing because I'm very indecisive when I go to buy certain things. So when I go into store, I'll edit that out. You'll see the money come down. You'll see what I purchased. <coughs> but I'm not going to make anybody sit and look inside the store with me for, for 35 to 40 minutes while I decide, well, do I want this one or do I want that one? Because to me, that's my indecisiveness. That just, y'all shouldn't have to deal with that. <laughs> So, uh, before I, before I let y'all go and cut this episode completely to an end of day, we're going to start on the 1st of September. Let me show you how we're, how we're going to start this. That way you'll know that you're not going to like it. It's not for you. It's for me. There's the farm. See, some of these entrances man are so covered up oh we got traffic coming now well, let's cut inside the house here some of these entrances you got to do a little tree trimming I passed that and never knew it but yeah all the farms have have plenty of mm hmm Oh yeah, plenty of storage space. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is a small square here, so that's sheep. Alright, I I used to get the sheep and the horses mixed up. The horses have a very large opening right here because they don't produce anything, and they, it's like a drive-in garage for a couple of vehicles. You can park there. This one here, that's where your sheep are. That'll be spawning that. There is a cattle barn. Let's see, what else are we looking at here? There's cattle barn, sheep. It's showing another building over this way. Uh, that's a that's a bunker. So this way. Oh yeah, there's another building over here. Okay, so we have um, chickens. This farm has chickens and pigs. We all have pigs. That's what that big dirt area is. Yep, pigs. Oh, no, wait. Oh, we're not done. And horses. See how big the shed is on this end, the big opening? Yeah, it's horses. See, this here, to me, it and the sheep, I, I can't remember the tray setups and everything. I'm like, okay, it, yeah, it's. I get them confused. I'm. What can I tell you? I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, it's getting later and later at night. And I know it doesn't do good to be out here in the dark, guys. It stuff does not pick up well in the dark. Uh oh, I'm lost. I took a wrong turn. Thought I was headed back to my truck. Ah! I don't like it in the dark. It's scary out here. Okay, I'm <laughs> cut through these woods. Oh, ah, that way. Oh, okay. These have double bins for the sheep. All right, good deal. Jump that. Let's get out of here before the cops see flashlights out here. I don't own this place. I'm just out here checking stuff out. Hey, how you doing? Let me see here. Uh. Okay, that's weird. That's very weird. Cut that map off. 
I hit my headlights, but the headlights didn't come on. There we go. Oh, this, that's right. This got parking lights. Backing out into the road, people. Backing out into the road. Not the safest thing to do, but we got to do what we got to do. What equipment I have, I will show you. I got very limited equipment. I'm counting it as what I brought with me when I moved. I could only bring what I could carry. And I, I got a weird, a very weird assortment of starting equipment. Right now, we're holed up here at the store. We talked to these guys here and we told them we're, we're just a poor farmer. We've come to grind the pole. And I asked them if we could set up shop here, you know, uh, sort of behind their building where we wouldn't be bothering anybody. And they said they didn't see much harm in it, you know, as long as I didn't get in the, in the way of business, that they'd be fine with it. So, let's get our lights off here. One more. There we go. We brought our pickup, of course. You gotta have your pickup. Crimson and white. Buggy wheels. You gotta love buggy wheels. We got our gooseneck trailer. We got a special little horsey trailer. And we got our little massy. That's all the equipment we got, guys. That's it. This is our starting equipment. And, uh, you know. Guess what? I need to get a fire started just in case it gets a little chilly out here. I'm not not sure about this Irish weather we gotta I gotta get on it first thing in the morning and start trying to make us some money because as you can see up there I only brought eight grand and I'm trying to stay on the down low because well I'll sir I'll share my finances with y'all I sort of skipped out of I sort of skipped out of old stream on the quick as you can see I'm 500 grand in the red. That's not good. It's not good at all. I still owe the bank 500 grand. That's our story. Not going to be telling no story. I'm not much for role playing other than talking about the people that need jobs done. That conversation, <laughs> that's just the voices in my head. Y'all don't have to know all about that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's this is what we're doing, people. We are on, for lack of better terms, start from scratch mode. Even though we didn't start the game on start from scratch mode, I, as you tell, leased a lot of equipment and borrowed a lot of money to get us up to 500k in debt. And then throw all the money down the drain so that we had eight grand left. And I am hoping I may go in the negative on the balance when it becomes daybreak. I am hoping the math works out to where I don't have to, that first loan payment is over eight grand. If it is, I may be in trouble. But hey, it is what it is, man. Economy's on hard. Uh, crop destruction, stones, weeds, you name it, we've got it. Hope y'all show up and check out episode two. I got it.